Texas, where Sharon Jit joins us. Sharon Jit, great to see you. And boy, what do you say about this company? It is a big one. And I guess at the moment, it appears that people just can't get enough of everything Samsung. Well, it appears they can't get enough of everything Samsung in terms of its mobile phones, actually, Samsung, uh, actually, Aaron, because it was mainly due to the surge in smartphone uh, sales and, of course, better profits as well at, uh, and better profit margins. It's TV business. Um, and, of course, it's probably put a big smile on the faces of senior management as they celebrate at the Olympics today. Of course, Samsung, one of the main sponsors uh, of the Olympics. Uh, we saw operating profit come in at about $5.9 billion in the second quarter. That's a whopping uh, 79% jump from a year earlier. Um, Samsung, of course, makes those Galaxy smartphones, and that overtook Nokia as the world's biggest maker of mobile phones uh, earlier this year. Analysts essentially saying Samsung's earnings were likely to rise uh, further in the future. And it's really the strength of that phone business that will offset uh, flagging sales of TVs and other electronic devices. Uh, the biggest risk to Samsung as well, uh, of course, are those patent issues and its various legal tussles with Apple around the world. It's considered to be uh, Samsung's biggest competitor. The cases have meant some uh, Samsung products, such as its Nexus smartphones, the Galaxy Tab uh, tablet, are now banned in the US. And of course, the other risk is that Apple has yet to announce when it will launch the latest version of its popular iPhone, and that could trump sales of the latest Galaxy uh, smartphone as well. Well, Thanks I'm sure the, the, the battle will continue.